Hello guys and welcome to the Game Beans. Uh, I'm AlfieXX and we have Z Wayne Z Oxley Hayes with us too. Woo! Hello. <laughs> uh, today in this video I'm going to be showing you the new dummy foundry on the PTS which is good for devs for par uh, to, to get in people with the good passes uh, with the same stats so they can figure out how to do stuff. So where is the portal for the dummy foundry? Uh, it's either in Tempest Bay, Sanctum or Meridian, just right beside the portal. Uh, there's going to be a few things you need to go to know. If you switch your dungeon mode to master and then enter the dummy foundry, uh, like I am doing now, we will teleport inside to the dungeon golem foundry and when we go to the center we will find yourself a merchant which is this a uh, mini Atuzio, and in him you will be the tier 1 raid storm legion raid gear so if you go in here you've got your bank mend but all this equipment at the top you don't need the test consumables and you won't need because they're rolled like them if you really want to get rich on the PTS not really worth it uh, make me level 60 if you want to do 10 testing and then we have the equipment uh, say mage DPS, warrior tank, warrior DPS etc etc so then we'll get all the vendor so once you open the armor or open like for example the mage dps one you'll get all the synergy crystals as there you'll also get all the gear apart from the trinket cape and you'll also get runes to put on them make sure if they don't you give any runes that you don't have like example uh, they won't give you the neck runes don't put them on because they won't be in the right parser and same and they give you the right amount of source machine and stuff like that. So everyone, all the mages who will be pastoring will all have these stats uh, to make it, oh, well not apart from the synergy crystal bonus, but all these stats so everyone is on the same amount. Oh shit, I've got one on the seal, but yeah, pretty much all this. So uh, at the back we have three portals, just the blue one will take you to Sanctum, red one will take you to Meridian, and the yellow one back to Tempest Bay again. So once you go into Tempest Bay, there will be uh, if you change your dungeon mode onto standard this time, and then enter the portal again, we should uh, be in a different instance of the Dummy Foundry, which has other stuff in it. In this one, you will have the trainers, so the mage, rogue, whatever trainer. You'll also have a fluffy vendor and you, the main reason for this one is they should be a lever and yes there is and this lever will give you full conquest points which is insanely cool I think and then if you go to the fluffy uh, there will be uh, yeah here we go test item to get all the T2 experience on your PA tree so you can get maxed out PAs as well uh, there are a few dummies in here but I wouldn't advise being inside this one for testing stuff. So if we now change our mode onto expert once we leave and come back inside again, this is where the fun begins. Yay, we like fun, don't we, Wayne? Always. <laughs> oh, stupid loading screens, that's what it is, I say. Right, uh, difficulty to expert join back in and in here we'll have all the test dummies we'll have a dungeon or instance master dungeon person we'll have fluffy again so you can still get your plat or experience but the only thing this time is you won't have the uh, conquest lever so we get unlimited trainers from here we get the dummies around the room we get the fluffy with the stuff in it uh, to upgrade. We also have a dungeon master who can teleport you to all the different instances and raids but not the 20 man raids yet. Uh, and once we're in here we also get a developer buff which provides all equal uh, buffs that are expected in raids and for this test dummy here it also gives you all the debuffs that are expected in full raids and it also gives you uh, spotter's order on the dummy as well. So if you look at my stats right now, I'm on 
5,216 spell power and whatever crit. So everyone would have all this spell power, probably a bit more, 32 more, due to the seal and dirt. But, yeah. Uh, so that's pretty good. If you're wondering why this is awesome, you got the dummies. But the main reason I find this awesome uh, is because of the tank dummies. You can actually go to this normal vent. It only hits normal, so it's what hitting for 17k, 18k. But it's good for testing your tank uh, specs and all that kind of stuff, which is pretty decent. I think they should have these dummies all over the place, those kind. So if you want to do some parsering for Tryon, uh, for the new specs and changes on the PTS, what you're going to need, you're going to need full conquest points, you're going to need full PA experience, you're going to need all this gear uh, from the box, no trinket, no cape because they didn't give it you, and all the runes on them, you can either go for crit ones if they, because they give you crit ones or whatever, or spell power ones or whatever. Uh, also, you're going to need to do around about four minute passes with and without the synergy crystals and on the raid dummy because uh, of the raid buffs and debuffs uh, that's about it I believe from that oh yeah make sure you don't use any oil stones or vials when you're testing and posting on the pass the thread on the forum and if you're doing AOE make sure you use it on the dummies with eight around them and that's about it. That's been the Dummy Foundry. I think it's absolutely awesome for the PTS for everyone to get equal stats to test their specs on the PTS. Definitely good. Definitely good for tanks as well. And I would say want this in my dimension. It's fucking sick testing all these vendors and crap. So check, make sure you check it out. It's pretty good. Definitely a good update for the PTS. Uh, I've been LPXX and Wayne in the background saying nothing really. Uh, <laughs> see you later. <laughs>